Hi folks, this is Steve Grizzetti, co-founder of MoviePix.com and author of the MoviePix.com guide to CyberLink Power Director Ultimate, and here we are in CyberLink Power Director. In one of our other tutorials, we showed you how to blur a face or how to censor an area in your video and then track with the motion so that that face, wherever it moves in your video frame, is blurred out while the rest of the video remains crystal clear. In this tutorial, I want to do the opposite. We want to know how do we highlight someone, spotlight someone, and then kind of obscure what is around him. And to do that, I've got this video clip on my timeline, pretty simple one. It's just a couple riding a bicycle past the camera. What I want to do is I want to put a little highlight around this man in the red shirt, and I want to follow him with that highlight or that spotlight all the way through even though he's moving through the video frame and keep the spotlight on him the whole way. So I'm going to put the playhead right back at the beginning of the clip to do this. I'm going to select the clip on my timeline and I'm going to the designer function button and under here I'm selecting mask designer. Mask designer is relatively new to CyberLink Power Director, but it's a cool way to mask or isolate certain areas of your video. So I'm going to select just perfect circle and there is my mask and I'm going to grab on the corner handles here and just drag it and position it so that it's right over this man. And I'm going to in fact make it pretty precise. Get very close to him. I'm going to have this actually change size also as the man goes by. So he's going to come closer to the camera. We're going to make this circle a little bit bigger as it follows him the whole way across. Now right now the mask has got the entire area outside that circle masked black, but if we scroll down here just a little bit, we have some options for controlling how opaque that masked area is. So in others, if I go down here to mask opacity, I can take it from 100% down to about, well, let's say 50%, maybe 60. So now it's dark all around him, but we've got a spotlight on the actor or the person we want to follow. And then it's as simple as creating the animation to follow him. And I want to animate two characteristics, and that is the position, which is going to change of the spotlight as it moves through the video frame, and the scale, because as the man gets closer to us, we're going to make that spotlight a little bit bigger, and he goes farther away, we'll make it small again. So I'm just going to click on animation, or toggle on animation by creating a keyframe for position and scale. And then all I need to do is move through this video, and then reposition and resize this mask, or this highlight, so that it stays with him. And I can go frame by frame if I want by using the period and the comma key button on my keyboard. Just go one frame at a time. And once it starts moving off him, just move this back over him. I'm going to make it a little bit larger now as he gets closer to me. And instead of going frame by frame, I don't need to be that precise. So I'm just going to scrub or drag the playhead. And as that spotlight begins to move off the actor, or as the actor gets closer, we'll make it larger again. And we'll continue to follow him. You see how simple this is. Making the mask even larger, or the spotlight actually even larger. And then as he goes off, we're going to make it smaller again, getting smaller. And you notice that every time we change the position or the scale, it creates a new keyframe down here or adds to the animation. And that should just about do it. Well, there he goes. He's off in the distance. We'll follow him here. And then that's all, folks. And then I'm going to just drag the playhead back to the beginning here, and we'll play through and see how precise it stays on him. So here we go, just press the play button. That's pretty good. We've got them highlighted there. Now, if we wanted to get real precise, of course, we wouldn't have all of that wobble. You can see a little bit of wobble there. Sometimes he's centered and sometimes it's off a little bit. It depends on how precise you want to get. But we have successfully highlighted him and that's pretty cool. That's exactly the effect we want. Click OK and it's applied to the timeline. And there is our spotlight. A cool effect. Now, if you want to know more tricks like this and tips, be sure and check out the many tips and tutorials we have at moviepix.com. And if you want to know everything about this program, including a lot of these cool hidden tools, you want to check out the moviepix.com guide to CyberLink Power Director. That's my book. It's available on amazon.com. I'm Steve Grizzetti. Thanks for joining me. Hope to see you again real soon.